Welcome back to the Theme Park Wizard, and we're going to talk some rumors about Knots and Montezuma's Revenge. Revenge. So let's get started. Alright, so these rumors come from Screamscape about Montezuma's Revenge and Accelerator. So, Montezuma's Revenge, of course, did not open with a Fiesta Village this summer. Fiesta Village is the brand, or the, or the revamped Fiesta Village that uh, is currently open in Knott's Bay Farm right now. It was supposed to come with a brand new Montezuma's Revenge with a new name called, I think, Montezuma for Forbidden Forge, but the new name is too long and uh, it's hard to remember, so I'm going to keep calling it Montezuma's Revenge or Monty throughout this entire video. The revamp Fiesta Village looks fantastic. A lot of the flat rides got some nice new Aztec theming on it. Um, Jaguar got a nice a little fresh up uh, with a little light show and fireworks every night, which is cool. Um, gorgeous of uh, new uh, food offerings and the restaurants and revamped restaurants and new gift shops and new seating areas and new buildings. It, the whole area looks absolutely, absolutely fantastic. But one of the centerpieces, Montezuma's Revenge, has not received a touch-up yet. Work has been stalled for months on this particular attraction and many folks were wondering why. Well, according to Screamscape, we hey, they've been hearing some rumors. The same rumors, uh, they're the same ones that heard the rumors that were confirmed that the new Montezuma's Revenge would have LSM or LAM launches. They'll allow the train to go forwards and backwards, so it would be a randomized launch, which is cool, which is all confirmed in the Knott's press release when they announced Fiesta Village. But, turns out, many, the manufacturer, uh, is messing up a little bit. They are they are not uh, getting the pieces out on time. The price has been bloated, overblown. So Nas is figuring out what to do. In the best case scenario, this attraction will open in 2024. In the worst case scenario, uh, Nas was fearing that, or they were fearing that Nas would scrap the attraction entirely. But in an update posted uh, yesterday, that does not look like it looks like it will be opening in 2024 notches to figure out if they should use a different contractor or the current con a different manufacturer or the current manufacturer because the costs have been bloated and they think they something that went wrong with the replacement pieces they needed so it seems to be just a mess in the meantime though notches went on a uh, record with the press saying they we're trying to get Accelerator open this summer. Accelerator has been open or closed for a very long time, ever since Top Still Dra Top Still Dragster had its incident and was closed over at Cedar Point. Top Still Top Still Dragster is getting a refurbishment and is going to reopen as something new, or some or I don't know if it'll be a new name, but it'll, 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 it's having some structural changes to it, as we can see evident at Cedar Point now. And that will be open in 2024. Uh, Accelerator's got a nice new paint job with a cool little kind of like racing or like fire um, type of paint job. Looks really cool. It almost reminds me of like a Hot Wheels car. And yeah, that refurbishment was completed and then they just, it just never reopened so far. But where it is, hopefully it can get open this summer, maybe late July. There are no new rumor changes with the coaster and nothing that can, we can see so far. I mean, as they change out the trains, which trains was, I don't think they will. But yeah, it'd be nice to have that coaster up and running, especially since Montezuma's Revenge won't likely be running till 2024. Hopefully, they can get it done in the early part of the year instead of the later part of the year. Because, uh, yeah, the manufacturer is really uh, not not uh, delivering the pieces well. And, you know, it uh, hopefully can uh, they can fix it on time. Not make it with a different manufacturer like Gerslauer, who actually just did a coaster like this and they not just worked with Gerslauer with hang time in 2018 so maybe they'll go with them but i believe they might try to stick with a, the current manufacturer i'm not sure i forgot which one it was but yeah we'll see if they can get those pieces on on time and hopefully we get montezuma's revenge back in the early part of next year so what do you think of those rumors about montezuma's revenge i'm are you glad it's not getting scrapped are you sad it's gonna have, you have to wait all the way until next year to ride it um, and do you think it should have been even closed in the first place? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates. And as always, have a zooming day.